SwiftUI gives us a range of built-in modifiers, such as font, background, and clip shape. However, it's also possible to build your own custom modifiers that do something specific. To do that, you wanna make a new struct that conforms to the view modifier protocol. This has only one requirement. You gotta provide a method called body that accepts whatever content it's been given to work with and must return some kind of new view. For example, we might say all the titles in our app should have a particular style. So we might say, I'll make a custom view modifier that does exactly what we want. We'd say struct title conforms to view modifier and has this body content method here. So I'll say, take our current content, then uh, give it a font of large title, then a foreground style of white, then some padding, then uh, a background of blue, then a clip shape of rect with a corner radius of 10 points. And we can now use that with the modifier modifier. It's a modifier called modifier, but let's apply any kind of view modifier to a view. For example, we might say down here, let's just do this text hello world by itself for a second. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna say this has the modifier attached to it of title, like so, and boom, up it comes. Now, when working with custom modifiers, it's usually a smart idea to make an extension on the view protocol so they're easier to use. For example, we might wrap our new title view modifier in an extension like this one. You might say extension on the view protocol, func title style returns some view. And inside there, we're doing modifier of that title like so. And with that in place, we can now use the modifier simply by saying text hello world dot title style and get exactly the same result. Now custom modifiers can do much more than just apply other existing modifiers. They can actually create a wholly new view structure as needed. Remember, these modifiers return some kind of new view rather than modifying existing ones. So we can create a new one that embeds the whole thing in a stack and adds another view, for example. We might say, uh, let's do struct watermark conforms to view modifier. I'll accept an extra value here called text, which is a string. And now in that body method, I'll make a Z stack with alignment of bottom trailing. And inside there, we'll place our original content, but I'll add next to it, the text of our watermark with a font of caption, and a foreground style of white. And let's do a padding of five points and a background of black. Again, I recommend making an extension on view for this purpose, make it easier to use. So I'd say there's an extension on the view protocol. I'll do func watermarked with some text string. Return some view. And then we'll do modifier of watermark with a text of the text we passed in. And with that done, we can now add a watermark to any view. I could say, for example, I want to have the color blue with a frame width of 300, height of 200, watermarked with the text hacking with Swift. And you can see it appear straight away. Now, often folks wonder when it's better to add a custom view modifier like this one versus just adding a new method to these view extensions like straight away without modifier at all. And really it comes down to one main reason, which is that these custom view modifiers can have their own stored properties, like a text thing here, whereas simple extensions to view can't. 